In this video, I'm gonna be doing a playing comparison between a $500 saxophone, a $1,500 saxophone, and a $5,000 saxophone. Will there be a big difference in sound? Will there be a big difference in playability? Let's find out. Today I have three saxophones for you. The Jean-Paul AS400, the Jean-Paul AS860S, and the Selmer Mark VI. I'm gonna be playing three different songs on each of them so you can really hear how they sound. Each saxophone will be numbered, one, two, and three, and that number will stay consistent with each horn for each song. I'll first have the saxophones covered up so you can't see which is which. Then I'm gonna ask you to let me know what you thought of it and how you would rank them from best to worst. Then I'll play those same recordings again, but this time they'll be uncovered so you can see which saxophone went with which number. Let's get into the recordings.
How would you rank those three saxophones? Also, could you tell which was which? Let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm gonna play those same recordings back for you, but this time it'll be uncovered so you're gonna see which saxophone was which.
So were you surprised by any of them? Were your guesses correct or incorrect? Now I have to start by saying this video is just a sound comparison between the three of them and it was really fun to play them back to back to back. I've already done a specific review video on the AS400 and you can check that out in the link I put in the description down below. I'm also going to be doing a separate video just on the AS860S as well, so look for that one coming out in the near future. So with that being said, I have to say, I really enjoyed playing both of those Jean-Paul saxophones. As you could probably tell, the tone quality on both of those, especially compared to the Mark VI, was actually really good. I really enjoyed how quiet all the keys were. I'm sure you can hear how loud my Mark VI is. I definitely need to bring that to the shop. I liked how even they played from the bottom to the top, and I really liked how well they played in tune, especially compared to the Mark VI. The big question always is, is the saxophone worth the price? When it comes to the AS400, for around $500, I think that's an incredible deal, and just like I said in the other video, I don't think you're gonna find any other brand new saxophone for that price that'll beat it. Then the next question is, well, is it worth the $1,000 jump up in price to go to the AS860S? And if it's up to me, the answer is absolutely yes. I really genuinely like this 860S. I love playing it, I love the way it looks. The really cool silver lacquer with all that hand engraving. It has Pisani pads, which are better than the ones that are on the AS400. It just feels better to play and I think it even sounds better. I'm not a technician, so when I say something feels better to play or something sounds better to me, I don't actually know why but that's not for me to know because I'm just the player, I'm not the technician. So if it feels better, great. If it sounds better, great. And you know what I always say, if you're comfortable playing the instrument and it makes you want to play, you're gonna be more able to get to that sound that you have in your head. Here's a little side note. The professional Jean-Paul instrument that I'm playing today called the 860S is the silver lacquered version. They actually have the exact same instrument in regular gold lacquer called the 860 and it actually goes for only 1300. So if you're making a comparison between the two and wondering which one to get, I think it makes it even easier knowing that you can get the regular 860 for only 1300. So like I said before, I'm gonna be doing a completely separate video just on the 860S, because I wanna go a little more in depth with what I think about how it looks, how it feels, and how it sounds as a player. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to purchase your own, either the AS400 or the 860S, there are links to both in the description down below. Full disclosure, I do get a very small commission if you end up buying one of the instruments using the link down below. That will go directly into supporting this channel and I can't thank you enough for that. Speaking of my channel, please browse all the videos I have here. I have tons of different kinds. Also, please subscribe. It helps to keep you notified about all the new videos I have coming out. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.